Hello, today we're going to be going over how to add a YouTube video to your WordPress site. <clears throat> this is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials to give you the keys to your web presence and put you in the fasting success. Learn more at stackcompeting.com slash tutorials. So this is a remake of another recent video. Um, we had actually positively reviewed this plugin um, not too long ago, maybe a little over a month ago, and they've since updated it and it you know what it's gotten even better uh, they've a it's they've added a lot of features and it's also a lot easier to add the short code in and you can also now do playlists and there's a bunch of options for editing the actual video player itself so the combination of all those deemed it necessary to remake the video and uh, we're gonna go over all those different features today even if you hadn't seen the previous video before it's not a problem um, you'll learn everything you need to know now Okay, so we'll get started now. First thing you need to do is go to the dashboard. Okay. Scroll down to plugins, hit add new. You're going to do is hit YouTube short code search. And it is right here. Uh, YouTube short code by Tubal Martin. I already installed and then activated it if you hadn't already or do that now activate uh, install or I also put a link in the description to the the plugins website and uh, you can download it and upload it from there so first thing you need to do is go to pages pick the page that you want to put the video on we'll do it on the video on the about us page for this development site All right, pick your spot what you're going to notice is now there is a little icon up in the top that says YouTube shortcode and this little YouTube logo. We're going to click on that. And now we're going to get the link. Let's go. We're going to get the link to the video that we want to put on the page. So this is our website channel. This is one of our other tutorials we recently did. Um, hit share don't take this link I'm not positive it will work just make more sense just to take this link down here so again that was you hit share and then take this link go back up go back to your page paste it in okay and now this is great for for uh, SEO so you're gonna do the title of whatever the video is about so we'll say tutorial on how to add a PayPal button to the to your site. Okay. Now you're gonna pick your size. 560 by 340 sounds good for now, but you can make that bigger or smaller. Uh, you'd be the judge of that. You can add a border in if you want and change the color if you want to do like a little red border around the video, or you can all you can do that. You're gonna need to know the hex code. If you don't, don't worry about that. It's not a very big deal. Um, there's a whole but whole list of options here. I'll go through the most important ones just for the sake of time. All right. So keep going. This is the one that you might want to do: prevent the YouTube logo from displaying in the control bar. Let's just click on that and see how that looks. Keep scrolling down. Um, another option you might want to do. Depending on your site, I don't. I'm not a fan of it, but just so you know, you can do it. It's autoplay. You would check this box. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Keep going. One of those important ones that we wanted to really talk about was disabling the load of related videos. You don't want a bunch of random videos coming up after yours ends. You want them to watch the video you want, and then that's it. Then they have, then the next then they take another step, whatever you want it to be uh, after that. Okay. And then all you do next is hit insert short code. And there it is. Um, before you used to have to paste your own code in here. It was just it was just a pain. So now we'll hit update and see how it looks. Okay, view page. And there's the video. Embedded beautifully. Now 
I just have to wait for my internet to catch up. And there it goes. All right. <coughs> now, the next thing you're going to want to do is, and you'll also notice that there's no little YouTube video, no YouTube icon here. So, I would assume that means nobody's going to uh, link off your site into YouTube unless they uh, click it up in this top part. But um, it's a lot less tempting than if there was just a big YouTube logo right here. Now, say you want to have a series of videos, so right after this one I want another one to play next. You can do that uh, by adding a playlist. So first, I'm going to go back. I'm going to get rid of this, this short code that wasn't put in before. Click on the code again. Go back to this video. Copy the same code from before. Add that back in. Now I'm going to put a new title in series of WordPress to <coughs> Okay. Now we're going to add in the rest of the videos for the playlist. Very important thing to co uh, coming up, so be, please listen. Next video is going to be, we'll say this one. You can hit share. Get that same link, but listen, when you go back, paste it in. When you go back, you only need this section here. You don't need this u2.be slash. You want to take all, completely delete all that. Separate by a comma. You get your next video. Okay. Share. Same thing. Copy. Another thing, another important thing, make sure there is no space. After the comma, no space, or the video will not work. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so we'll do a series of three videos for now. Go down, you're going to have to do the, all the settings you did before again, um, with the exception of... Um, with the exception of... I'm going to not disable the load of related videos for now just because I don't think they'll come up anyway because of the playlist. Um, well, actually, after the last video, they probably still would come up. So let's just disable it and see what happens. <laughs> Hit update. Okay, and then go over to view page. Hit play. All right, let's skip right to the end and make sure that those other videos come up. Yep, let's jump in right into the next video, and it makes this nice little... Uh, wow, this is loud in my ears. It makes this nice little um, scroll feature, so they might be able to just skip right to the next one, which is cool. Okay, let's see if the videos don't come up at the end. Let's see what happens. Nice. So that's so you still want to hit r no related videos so that this is what it comes up at the end of your playlist. Okay. Well, that worked beautifully. That was risky business waiting to to do it during the tutorial. Okay. So finally, my my final review. This this short code plugin is awesome, and you guys should use it if you're putting YouTube videos on your site. It makes everything a lot easier and gives you a whole lot more capability of customizing your little player and adding neat playlists like this. Alright, so until next time, uh, this is Node's tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence, put you in the fast lane to success. Learn more on our site at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Thanks.